A cephalopod has passed a cognitive test designed for human children. Cuttlefish were put through the same cognitive test, which is known as the Stanford Marshmallow Experiment. The original experiment put children in a room with a marshmallow on the table in front of them, and if they were able to not eat that marshmallow for 15 minutes, then they would be rewarded with a second marshmallow. It was originally used to show the development of cognitive abilities in humans, specifically to show at which age humans are smart enough to delay gratification for a reward. This ability to delay gratification shows cognitive ability for future planning. Because the experiment is so simple, it is easy to gear it towards animals. Obviously, you can't tell an animal that they will get a reward if they wait, but you can train them that if they don't eat this food right in front of them right away, then they will get better food later on. It has been observed that some primates can delay gratification as well as dogs, albeit inconsistently. How they changed the experiment for the cuttlefish is they took six different types of common cuttlefish and put them into a tank. In this tank were two enclosed chambers with see-through doors so the animals could see what was inside. Inside each chamber were two different types of food, one more appealing than the other. And on the door of these chambers were symbols that the cuttlefish could identify. A circle on the chamber door that opened first with the less desirable food, and a triangle on the other chamber door that opened sometime between 10 to 130 seconds. Inside this chamber was much more desirable food. And if the cuttlefish were to go into the chamber door that opened right away, then the more enticing food would be taken immediately from the tank. After a little bit of time, the cuttlefish realized that if they waited, the second chamber would then open, revealing the better food. Once the cuttlefish consistently waited for the better food, the researchers switched things up and changed the symbols on the doors. This was to make sure that they weren't just waiting by the door with the triangle because they knew it had better food. And it was found that even after changing the symbols on the doors, the cuttlefish still waited for the reward. This new study just goes to show that we should not underestimate the intelligence of animals. In the end, they found that cuttlefish were able to practice self-control, at least to the extent of a young child. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Knowledge Dump. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and please subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And as always, we believe in you.